Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Saif and in this video I'm gonna show you step by step how you can easily use Zoho Calendar to keep your business organized. So let's get started. First I will head to my account from here. And this is how your Zoho Calendar will look like. So if you want to create a new event so that it will appear in your calendar, you can head to new event and press on it. And now you can start creating your event. So let's for example say that we have an event to finalize a contract. So I will name it contract meeting. And now I will make it for example on the middle of December. And I will make it all day. So once I click on this, this date will vanish because it already it's, it already books the whole day. So by clicking on this, it vanished. And now I will invite uh, my participants through email. I will just yeah I will just invite a single participant, which is this. And now I will name the location of the meeting. So let's say for example, it's in the company in New York. I can also add a conference. However, it will be available if I cancel this all day. I can here add a conference. However, if I clicked on all day, it will not be available because of course you will not um, start a conference call for the whole day. So it's it doesn't make it doesn't make sense. So basically, it's only available if you decided the interval of the meeting. However, if you made it all day, you will not be able to add a conference call. Next, you can add it uh, to a specific calendar. So basically, if you have more than one calendar, which we'll discuss later in this tutorial, you will be able to choose the specific calendar that you want from here. You can also make it private and you can choose to notify you uh, through email or through call or uh, through notification, whatever, uh, before the meeting by specific time. And you can decide which what is this time. You can also decide to be notified after the meeting, although I don't think it makes sense. Next, you can add a description and add attachment. And once you are done, you can press on save and go ahead to the next step. But before this, you can decide whether you want it to be uh, an event for attendees and yourself or your attendees only. So I will choose attendees and myself and I will confirm. So by uh, we we can't see the event here because we already uh, made the, our calendar day by day so our meeting is on 14 of december or 15 so i will just make this monthly and here is my meeting on 15 of december so basically i can control my view from here i can make it day by day week by week or month or more than that. I can also um, choose my view. So basically, let's say for example, we chose week, you will be able to um, decide the view you want. So basically, you have three views here, you have the super compact, compact and classic. So they are different from each other by the spacing of each day. So, of course, super compact is the most compacted one and classic is the widest one. So now let's return to month. And this is how it looks like. So basically, if you want to, um, if you are invited to a meeting, you can head to this meeting and you can decide whether you are going to attend or maybe or you are not going to attend. You can also delete it from here. You can also create an event not by just going to new event here, but by also uh, clicking on any day you want. Uh, so for example, if I have a meeting on 20 of December, I can click on it here and it will pop up the event creation panel. So I can create my title here. I can invite the people I want here, although it's abbreviated from this option. So this is like quick uh, event and this is like more detailed if event. So this is how you can uh, control your calendar and how we can uh, start uh, new events from, from it without going to the new event tab.
Now let's say you want to subscribe to another calendar which is not yours but uh, of your manager for example so that you can know uh, his appointments and you can schedule your appointments based on his. So you can go to my calendar here and you can press on the plus sign here then subscribe to a calendar and by clicking on this you will be redirected to the settings and you can go to Zoho calendar users then you can type the email address of your manager so that you will subscribe to his calendar as well. You can also synchronize your calendar with Google uh, calendars so through going to synchronize here and my calendar is already updated so if you, yours is not you will find here a button of Google calendar you will just authorize it and you will press on the check mark and you will, you will be all set. You can also go to um, app calendars here you can find all the subsets of Zoho. You can um, use all of them. You can integrate with uh, Zoho Calendar with any of them. So basically, each one of them uh, contains uh, some of your business aspects. So you can uh, collaborate between Zoho Calendar and the rest of Zoho services. By the way, we uh, made uh, as, as a specific tutorial and detailed tutorial of each one of these services. You can find them in our channel if you are interested. Next, you can also go to um, system here so that you can customize how your calendar will look like. So you can adjust your language, you can adjust your font size, you can also choose the theme whether it's light, dark, white, so basically you can control how it looks like. You can also control how your theme color looks like, so let's choose red for example. And you can also choose the appearance, data for, uh, date format. Uh, desktop notifications uh, and system prefer and settings preferences. So once you are done, we can close and you can see the difference here. So I think it looks better. So you can control it the way you want and the way it's more comfortable to your eyes. You can also access chats from here, channels and contacts. Now let's return to our home page. Here. So basically you can also import a calendar from here. By clicking on this, it will ask you to import uh, using I ICS file or web URL. You can also import it to a specific calendar. As we said, if you have more than a calendar, you can for example, subscribe to your manager's uh, calendar or you can create a new calendar so that it will be a, a specific category. So if you want uh, to have a calendar for your personal life, you can uh, make this and you can also make another calendar for your work so that you can separate it between both of your um, lifestyles and you can manage both of them separately. So it's up to you. And this is how easy you can use Zoho Calendar. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.